Hear ye, hear ye, come one, come all. Hear me and rejoice, for today we will be learning how to make, and print, your own custom Magic the Gathering cards. Alright, so yeah, today I will be showing you guys how to make and print custom Magic the Gathering cards. For me personally, um, I use two different methods. I will show you the first, which is Magic Set Editor. This is a small application to download that will essentially give you free templates on magic cards. So if I click create new set, I can choose a card type and then they have other options which is really nice about the magic set editor. If I want to choose a leveler card or a planeswalker or maybe some of the older style cards, I could do that. For this example, let's just use the modern style. On this, it's simply just filling out a template. There's a name here, a mana casting cost, you can load your own image, you can choose what card type, the rarity, ability text, flavor text, uh, power toughness, and illustrator down here. So let's say, for example, I would like to load this picture. You can resize it however you choose for this. Zoom in, move, do whatever. Let's say I like this. Hit OK, and then you just name it whatever you want, fill out all the blanks. Let's say we're to name this Drummer Boy. I put in the name there, and then type in letters corresponding to symbols. So let's say this. Then there's a slot down here. You can choose basic, legendary, tribal, yada yada, um, what kind of card type it is. So let's say creature. And there are preset ones in here, like just Magic Basics, or you can write your own thing and then you can choose the rarity any ability text let's give this one haste for example flavor text down here you can put the illustrator name I'll just use my name and then power toughness let's say this creature is a 3-4 for example and then from there, you can save the file under save or save as, or you can simply export the picture as card image and take it wherever you'd like. Now the second way I make cards, and personally I think this one is better because it has higher quality to it, uh, this is Mythic Black Core. The website is simply mythicblackcore.com. So the way this one works, it has an all-in-one quick design, or just a well, I guess slower design, but you get to choose more for this. So if I were to choose that, um, it's the same kind of thing where you just fill out all of these boxes, right? It's just a template. So if we were to recreate that card in this form, now without changing the image URL it would look something like this. Now the picture looks like this for one of two reasons. Um, reason one being they have a default image from Scryfall which you need to change so right now it's just this basic PNG layer. Also the border is the stained glass style from the Dominaria United set but if you go into style there's a Dropbox which has a bunch of different um, borders. I personally really like the box topper because it has, it's just like the extended art, like this for example. So what I have to do is simply open Mythic Black Core again, but I go into the all-in-one quick design, upload own image, choose the file, upload that from there, hit view, it'll open a new tab. What I do is simply copy and paste into here, then hit update image at the bottom. It'll update on the right, and here we go. See, as you can see, this one is extended art, and it's a little more clean than the other one, and it's got some of the fancy stuff at the bottom here. But like I said, this one has many, many options. I could change it to Gilded, for example, from the new Capenna set. 
which would look something like this. Uh, granted, this box would generally have more if I added something like flavor text. <laughs> So I've gone in now and added um, a little extra rules text and the flavor text. So this is closer to what the card would really look like if it was printed from Wizards. Mythic Black Ore also allows for custom Planeswalker cards, which is sweet. I will say Magic Set Editor also has the ability to create Planeswalkers. However, they kind of limit themselves to the classic border where Mythic Black Core allows for the other ones or the fancy ones. So, for example, I've created two Iron Man cards. The Magic Set Editor version looks like this. And the full art Planeswalker version from the Mythic Black Core looks like this. This is pretty much the same thing, where you just fill out the name, fill out whatever kind of style you want, three or four ability, uh, make a casting cost, you can put in your own image, change the frame color, types, rarity, and then the loyalty abilities here. From there, what I would do is download cropped image. You could also save it to my uploads if you'd like to create a little gallery on here. It is free. For example, these are some of the cards that I have made. However, once you have these files saved, you're probably wondering, hmm, how do I actually print them? If you choose to design your card through Mythic Black Core, they offer a printing, cutting, and shipping service. What you would do is upload your card into the My Uploads via the button we showed a minute ago, or if you go to the top, there is upload new card in the design slash upload slot. You would put in whatever you'd like to name it and then upload your file, send to my uploads. Once you're there, just click on what version you'd like. So there is non-foil, foil, and premium foil. Non-foil is obviously not foil. Foil is regular foil. And premium foil is like a super fancy rainbowy version. I can go into further detail in just a second. However, if you are wanting one of these cards, simply click on one. Say I want the foil version of this Repulsor Blast. One card added a queue. So what you would do is go up to your queue. It would show the card that you want to print, what type it is, and then the quantity. So foil cards through Mythic Black Core are $250 apiece. Non-foil cards, such as this one I've just added, are only $1.50 instead of 2 In this case, a foil and a non-foil would be a total of $4. Magic Set Editor does not offer this same program. However, if you would like, you could do the same thing we just did for this, where you could upload your own picture, even if it was made from this, and then order it through this way. This does cost money but it is you're paying for a service. However, there is a second option, something that I've done quite a few times, that costs less money, if any money at all, depending on what you have access to. So a thing I do a lot when I make custom cards, especially if I'm not trying to pay and wait for all the time and shipping and everything, what I do is if I have access to a printer, I keep that file, I set it either in Photoshop or whatever kind of editor you have. I set it in a 8.5 by 11 page, just as the picture itself. And then I will print it out. Print it out, and then I will take a sleeve and a an actual magic card. I just use lands because they're cheap and I have way too many of them. And I put them all together in a sleeve so it feels and looks like a real card. I'll show what you mean in just a second. So essentially what I do, I'll just use this card as an example. It looks and feels just like a real magic card. Now, truth of it is, if I were to split it open, it's actually just a basic land and a piece of printer paper. So this is super flimsy in itself, and you can see the, uh, the grade of paper. It's obviously not the same as, you know, actual cardboard 
but just for proxy purposes or for just being creative, this works perfectly fine. All right, I've got some more examples here. So these are Mythic Black Core cards. As you can see, they look pretty nice. They are the card themselves. This Iron Man, like I showed a minute ago, is also Mythic Black Core, but this one I actually ordered in the foil. As you can see, it's much more reflective than something like this. However, this isn't the, the typical rainbow foil you would see in Magic cards nowadays, but for that, you would need the premium foil. These are some examples of what I've made with Magic Set Editor. They have a much more classic look, and as I mentioned before, they are what I just have as a printer paper in front of a sleeve, or in front of a land inside of a sleeve. Uh, but these are free, and you don't have to wait on shipping or anything for these. So that's a bonus for Magic Set Editor. So yeah, that's how I make and print my own custom Magic the Gathering cards. And as I've shown you, they turn out pretty nicely. So they're good for proxies, or like I said, creativity, or just whatever you're wanting to do. But yeah, that's pretty... Oh, oh, shoot, I dropped some. Dropped one. Hmm. Good way to end the video.